There is a real refugee problem. How does Israel address it, and, and how do you navigate the complexities of, Israel, of international law in order to uh, get there? This memo is in response to some ideas percolating in some corners of the legal establishment, um, which are strange ideas. Uh, there's still a war on, and the notion, which currently uh, Secretary Blinken is actually pressuring the Israeli government to, to implement, that people should return to the north while the war is still on, while soldiers are still dying. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I actually got a call. I got the call. Hey, what do you think about the legal uh, question of um, uh, having, the, having people come back to the north because things are winding down? As I was uh, sitting in the shiver house of a young man, Ephraim Jackman, died in the north, and they're already talking about bringing people back. Now, in the north, there's not much to come back to currently, and it's a war zone. So there's an obvious adverse selection problem. Of course, there's people very excited to come back there because they're Hamasniks. Normal families are not excited to come back there. Uh, that's quite clear. And uh, there is still, in fact, a war on. Um, Gaza, it's true. Uh, I'll elaborate on the er earlier comments. Gaza has now finally become the world's largest open-air prison. And the international community is happy to have Gaza be like a North Korea from which there is no escape and no exit simply to allow Hamas to use its population as human shields and increase the pressure on Israel. Um, the, the, an, the answer to this is very clear. Egypt has obligations under the Refugee Convention. Uh, Egypt has obligations under other international treaties. Um, Egypt is a neutral country which must not turn away asylum seekers at its, uh, at its borders. Um, and I think there's another example of what I sort of said at the start. When you have countries that accept millions of uh, uh, asylum seekers, refugee, refugees from conflict zones around the world, but not got, the United States. The United States has a wide open border and all sorts of people are coming across every moment, but God forbid they pressure Egypt to let a single Gazan through. It just shows international law works differently when it comes to us.